Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Breathe in. Fill up that color balloon for one, two, three, four, five little Alex. And I want you to let it out like you're a rag doll. Children are much different today. They have a lot of information coming at them uh, really quickly. They're exposed to a lot more these days. And as much as people try to shelter their children from the stresses that they're dealing with, there's household stresses that they're also absorbing in. They've got school stresses. They have social stresses. So they're dealing with a lot of stresses that adults are dealing with as well. I had been working successfully with adults and dealing with their stress and then my own daughter ended up having some stress at a very young age and I felt helpless and I didn't know what to do. So what I did was I started taking the programs and these, the techniques that were working for adults and I toned them down and made it into first into play so that she would be able to absorb it easier and then started using those types of techniques when she was stressed and feeling upset. So now what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in all the good stuff all the happy feelings and we're going to fill up that happy balloon and when we blow out we're going to blow out all the yuckies right out of our mouth. I have come up with a couple different ways of teaching children how to do breathing techniques. And breathing techniques are the foundation of any stress reduction program. You can do it anywhere at any time and it works. And when you incorporate breathing techniques in with stress reduction what you're doing is you're getting more oxygen to the brain which brings in calming feelings, and you're also changing your heart rate, which changes your emotional state. You bring the breathing flower up when you breathe in, and you hold it for one, two, three, four, five, and blow it out. Children are born just doing great imagery. So when you take what they are doing already, and you use it to help them for stress reduction, it's amazing. It's just, it's easy for them. Very, very easy. I learned that whenever you're angry anywhere, you could just let it go by, like, doing all those things. Oh, the class was terrific. Uh, the colors, the balloon, the flowers, the spaghetti arms. I think that all is, is very, very good with the children. They seem to uh, relate to it well, and parents, like myself, will continue to reinforce this with them. And any stressful times, maybe they can use it and hopefully get them to calm down just a little bit. We can tighten up our whole body. One, two, three, four, five. And what do we get? Lucy Goosey with spaghetti arms. Another technique that we use is a neuromuscular technique and it's basically tightening up the different muscle joints and muscle groups, tightening up the different muscle groups and then showing them that when they release it, it feels relaxed and calm. Because when you try to tell somebody to relax, first of all, nobody likes to be told to relax. <laughs> And then when it, the brain won't pick it up, it doesn't really know at that moment how to relax. So when you do neuromuscular and you tighten up your muscle groups and then when you release it has a relaxation response, they feel more relaxed and it's a very physical response which children can understand very easily. All children are going to be very individual, but some signs that you may see is they are getting more frustrated. They're having either more tantrums. They are, um, my daughter started wetting the bed again and became becoming very clingy and then pulled back. So anything that seems to differ from what's normally the behavior of your child, start watching and analyzing and seeing are they having a little bit of stress going on and then you can begin implementing the techniques.